Hello and welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing out top rated face masks sold on Amazon. Today we have another 3M. This is the 3M Cool Flow model number 8511. These are different compared to the other N95 respirators that we've reviewed on our channel. And that's because these N95 respirators do contain a valve. We also believe that these are part of the stockpile, which means that the government is providing citizens with these N95 respirators at your local pharmacies or other stores for free. So I'm actually really excited to try these out and see how they perform. Let's go over the listing before we try it on. So here is how the listing looks. This is a 3M8511 paint sanding valved N95 cool flow respirator. This is a pack of 10. The price is currently $23.97. The seller is Amazon. I went ahead and looked for them on the NIOSH proof list and here they are, the 3M8511 with the TC approval number. These respirators are originally designed for construction use or painting use, things of that sort. As you can see for, from the listing, they do have that you know, that guy is painting, <laughs> uh, that guy is sanding. Let's go ahead and take one of these out. This is how they look. These are very soft from the inside, and here is the valve. The mask contains all the NIOSH requirements, which are the manufacturer, which is 3M, along with the TC approval number and the NIOSH approved stamp. These have some wording around the headband. It says, warning, misusage may result in sickness or death. Okay, <laughs> the headband is attached with staples. They're not gonna, yeah, they're not gonna come off. So let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits on my face. Right off the bat, these are way more comfortable than the 8210 that I reviewed. The other one, I felt like it was pulling my face. Let's try to see if I can... Okay, so the same issue that I was having with the other one is the nose wire. It's so hard for me to be able to adjust it to my face. They don't have a strong smell. I do feel like, like I feel like there's air coming in through it, but I'm sure it's just me. We're gonna see how breathable they are when we get our test results. So now that we tried it on and I gave you some of my thoughts, let's go ahead and jump into the filtration test portion of this video and see if they pass the filtration test with our TSI machine. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the band before placing it to the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is completely sealed without glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. We will be testing three samples in order to acquire the most accurate information. Now, let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask or respirator is. F stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for all three masks are 99.70% and above. We are back and they did pass the filtration efficiency test. Like I mentioned earlier, I did feel that there was some air coming in um, in and out of the mask, but that's just because of the pressure drop. They are very breathable. One thing that I do wanna point out about N95 respirators that have a valve is that the way that these valves work is that whenever you're exhaling, the valve opens, but whenever you're inhaling, it closes. So what that means is that whenever you're exhaling, the air that you let out is not filtered out. So the individual around you are not protected, which is something for you to be cautious about. I don't recommend wearing these anywhere in a medical environment or wherever you're surrounded by a lot of people. Overall, these respirators are very comfortable to wear, way better than the other ones that we reviewed before. One thing that I did point out was the nose wire. It is very hard for you to adjust a nose wire once you have it on your face. The construction of it is pretty good. The materials seem very sturdy and good quality. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to comment down below your feedback regarding the mask, the video, or any suggestions. If you guys want me to try out any mask, please leave them down below, and I will see you guys in our next video.